what a what a what a what up youtube it's your boy vsat back bring you guys another video in today's video we are going to go on a little bit of a discussion of what i think about the new call of duty zombie mode that will be confirmed in infinite warfare infinite warfare itself and of course the call of duty 4 remastered so let's get right into it first let's just address it the new zombie mode obviously nowadays a large portion of my twitch channel which now has nearly 59k follows so you know pretty good sized channel over there used to be very zombie driven nowadays of course if you guys watch if you if you still tune in whatever the case may be you guys know that i don't stream nearly as much zombies i stream zombies every day now i stream it occasionally you know what i mean and why that is is bo3 zombies hasn't really lived up to what i want it to be although it is what i expected bo3 zombies to be but that's a discussion we can get into a whole another day just not a big fan of bo3 zombies although when exo zombies came out i really really did love that and the reason that i bring up exo zombies right now is because i want to address something I saw some people on Twitter when the new zombie mode was confirmed tweet out things saying like with this new zombie mode maybe I'll get infinite warfare and and people were just saying these things people being excited people were telling me like VSAT what do you think VSAT what do you think about infinite warfare VSAT what do you think about COD 4 VSAT what do you think about zombies what do you think about all this so I figured we'd just make a YouTube video addressing this so anyways going back to exo zombies why do you bring up exo zombies because I personally really enjoyed exo zombies now I only really enjoyed the first map infection didn't like it all. Probably the worst zombie map I've ever played between any studio. Although, I'm not going to lie, Zetsubu no Shima's pushing that. You know, Zetsubu might be worse than Infection. But whatever. That's a discussion for some other time. Um, Infection was terrible. Carry was terrible. And the last map was okay. But at, the, at that point, it was too late. No one cared. Uh, the ship had sailed already. But I really, when Outbreak dropped, it showed a lot of potential to the Exo Zombies series. And it was a really solid map. And to me, I've tweeted it before. Exo Outbreak is the best zombie map made in the past two years, and I stand by that. That's not me trying to hate on the new game. It would make wonders if I love BO3. I simply don't. It's not my kind of zombie game, and I and that's not to say that I don't appreciate it. I do understand the direction they're going in. It makes sense to me. It's just not something that resonates with me so much. So anyways, why am I bringing this up? Visa, what are you even saying right now? I'm bringing this up because when I say that I enjoy Exo Zombies and I enjoy Exo Outbreak, people go crazy they're like vset how do you like exo zombies vset exo zombies whenever if i just stream exo zombies people are like vset why are you streaming this this is terrible exo zombies freaking fail fish exo zombies like what are you doing you know what i mean like why are you doing this right now we yeah, everyone always tells me exo zombies was terrible it was trash it was horrible that is the only other studio to this point that at least obviously we know infinity ward is working on it now but that's the only studio that worked on another zombie game mode and came out and you guys hated it so why in the world would you be hyped for infinite warfare zombies this isn't treyarch a lot of you guys that i know are not a big fan of bo3 i know some people really enjoy it and i know some people really don't enjoy it so outside of treyarch why would you expect anything different from even sledgehammer go with infinity ward i don't understand the thought process of why people are excited for this don't get me wrong if it was me i'm not really excited just because i don't get really too hyped up for cod anymore like i'm super stoked for uncharted 4 that's coming out in less than a week so psyched about that but that's that's totally something different as well but um cod is just kind of whatever like i'll definitely play it but i'm really more hyped for cod 4 remastered we'll get into that a little bit later on in the video though but um to me you know i i want to see what they can do but i'm not like i'm not stoked about it you know what i mean it is what it is i think zombies showed their hand and i think you even saw that as exo zombies went on is it's very easter egg driven now it's not the simple spawn into a map survive these rounds that's what i always loved about zombies zombies is a co-op game mode and i feel like it should be treated like one if it wants to be its own game then it can be but it's a co-op game mode and what i really enjoyed about it was just the survival aspect of it which is also something i really enjoyed in modern warfare 3 survival mw3 survival was so awesome was it zombie bo1 good no but it was really good honestly i enjoy mw3 survival more than i enjoy bo3 zombies tell you the honest i got truth but um so that's one thing that i just i don't understand when people say like vsat yo i want to see what they can do and i'm like do you like you hated exo zombies so I, I you know i'm just a little confused maybe it's not apples maybe it's apples to oranges i don't know it's just i don't i really don't know how people are like excited for this when people make fun of me all the time for enjoying exo zombies so that's my two cents on that going into infinite warfare itself i saw the trailer what do i think 
I'm interested, and here's why. I'm interested because we are going to get COD 4 remastered, and here's the thought process. If we were just getting straight up Infinite Warfare, I'd be a little weary. My only request of COD in these past couple years, obviously, we don't know what's going to happen after this game, but now this is the third consecutive game where we have a very futuristic title. This game is going to be taking place in space. Now, could that still mean? I don't know if they've confirmed. I know they confirmed some form of advanced movements. Now, we don't know if it's going to be like double jumps or anything like that. I I'm assuming this is going to be like... It's not the traditional run around the map, but what I really am interested about this is we're getting that. We're getting two Call of Duty titles this year. We're getting a Call of Duty 40 Mastered, which is old school, which pleases everyone that's old school. And then we're getting this futuristic thing, right? And I'm interested in futuristic. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I don't hate futuristic COD. I don't. I don't hate EXO abilities. I actually really enjoyed Advanced Warfare. Not a fan of BO3, but a lot has to do with hit, de hit detection. I hate the wall running in BO3. I like wall running a lot better in Titanfall. BO3, people are running around trees, and they're a million feet in the air. And it's like, you, you turn a corner, and you got to look up. Like, there's Jason Voorhees in the trees or something like that it's a little too much for me it's not my cup of tea but my problems with bo3 is usually way past the movement system it has a lot more to do with other things but i do not like the wall running in that game so i don't think there's anything wrong with advanced movements i know people hate on it to me the problem is not advanced movements it really isn't but the thing that it makes me really interested is we're getting a remastered so we're getting what we love from the old school and then we're getting the futuristic i think that's the perfect blend i really do now if it was one of those where we were only getting the futuristic i would be very like oh man this kind of sucks like i just want to see boots to the ground again but we're getting it both ways and i'm really excited about that i am really excited about that i don't think there's anything wrong with advanced movements i think infinity ward can kill it infinity ward's gunplay and map design is unparalleled in my opinion treyarch doesn't compare and i thought sledgehammer actually did a really good idea good job i thought sledgehammer's gunplay was good and i thought the map design was pretty good but still was nothing to infinity ward ghost was a little bit of a drop off but even if you look at the best maps that were on ghost there's nothing on bo3 that comes remotely close to infinity war maps there's nothing that comes close to warhawk nothing that comes close to strike zone nothing that comes close to octane these maps are signature free all that way better than anything we have on bo3 in my personal opinion of course sledgehammer had some good maps you had your detroit you had your riots of the world good maps biolab good maps but uh to me bo3 is the worst in map design personally that's personal opinion of course personal opinion so infinite warfare i'm excited for in that perspective because we're gonna get that we're gonna get that boots to the ground that we want and let's just see what they can do with the futuristic i know apparently it's now like the most disliked youtube uh new disliked video on youtube excluding music videos so that's crazy that's the infinite warfare trailer so infinite warfare has got a big marketing leap to go to jump ahead with i think that game will sell it'll sell like gangbusters but a lot of it's going to be because of cod 4 i think i don't know how much exactly but i do think a lot of people are, are in for that modern warfare remaster so infinite warfare somewhat excited but way more excited for cod 4 and that segues into cod 4 if you know me i started playing call of duty back in 07 08 fell in love with it man I, I got online i got online to play sport games long story short my friends were playing halo and cod one night hopped on halo didn't really resonate with me online i played i used to play LAN, you know the four player co-op that was a lot of fun halo 3 didn't really resonate with me i thought one and two were the best three is where it fell off in my eyes or started really falling off and for me for a lot of people the this life cycle for that is a little bit later like halo 4 people started disliking or even reach but um then they hopped on call of duty and once i played search and destroy it was everything i wanted it was this strategic game type and it was just it was remarkable to me it was out thinking the, the opponent and to me I, it, it, I, I said it last night on my Twitch channel, and I didn't even realize it until I said it, and I was like, that's true. Cold Duty changed my life. COD 4 changed my life, and that's a bold statement, but it did, man. I went from playing sports every day, you know, all this stuff, and, and just playing gaming on the side uh, casually at this point. I had gamed my whole life. I've been a gamer my whole life, but at that point, it was mainly just rock band, sport games. I was doing franchises, career modes, you know. I wasn't really playing much other games. Once I hopped on COD 4 and played, I got a taste of that multi, it, it changed me, man. Like, I, I've bought every single Call of Duty title since. I've invested... I mean, I, I couldn't even tell you, I guess well over let me think uh, well over 120 plus days 130 days accumulative of all the titles probably even past that probably like 150 days probably like a half a year of, yeah actually way more than that especially being a streamer 
probably like 200 days, honestly, now that I think about it, including the zombies, of course, because that's on the Call of Duty title. So, 200 plus days of just straight Call of Duty, or not straight, obviously, but 200 days of Call of Duty action plus. So, COD has really changed my life, man. COD 4 is where it began, and, and I'm obsessed with that game. I've invested so many hours in that game but anyways long story short am i excited for the remaster 100 percent. this is something that i've wanted since no joke 2011 i just want cod 4 again i really do and um i'm excited now the rumor is you're getting the campaign you're getting the full-blown campaign and you're only on the disc gonna get 10 multiplayer maps now i do believe that we will get dlcs on cod 4 i do believe that i think what they're gonna do is they're gonna put it out they're gonna see how many people play that game and they're gonna see how many people stay on that game and we're gonna get the supply drops that a lot of people don't want i'm a, i'm not i'm not really bothered by that because that's just the way of the future we got to accept that that's something that we have to accept it sells like gangbusters they showed today that freaking uh in-game supply drops or just in-game um purchases were up by 80 percent that's that came out today on black ops 3 up by 80 percent so we are getting supply drops on cod 4 i'd be very surprised at some point maybe not on disc but i'd be surprised that at some point we didn't get anything that was like supply drops or buying dlcs buying guns we are gonna get camo we're gonna get new camos that we can buy we are getting these things in cod 4 embrace it it's just that simple it's just that simple and personally like i said i'm the biggest cod 4 fanboy there is i don't mind one bit if this game is changed or altered a little bit i I don't think that's a bad thing i gotta i think we gotta keep our minds open to this i don't know if we really want a copy and paste version of cod 4 and i'm gonna reiterate that i don't think we want a copy and paste version what makes cod 4 cod 4 is not necessarily just the simplicity now of course that has a lot to do with it but it's the gunplay it's the gameplay it's the level design it's all these things man that make cod 4 special as long as these things aren't touched as long as the maps aren't altered in crazy ways and it doesn't seem like they are it's probably just high res better you know better looking as long as the gun balance is what it was and they're not nerfing things to shiz like they do in treyarch which is absolutely annoying which there's no reason for them to believe that then uh, cod 4 remastered is going to be great in my eyes and i don't see why it wouldn't be i wouldn't mind if they added a obviously they'll add a final ending kill cam I'm, i believe they would i'm sure maybe they'll give us some more score streaks i wouldn't be surprised by that i'm sure they might remove last stand and you know some of that stuff we'll see we really will but we got to keep our minds open and plus one of the biggest things that i've been seeing a lot is vsat they're gonna mess it up they're gonna mess up cod 4 remaster i don't know what why people say that there's nothing to lead us to believe that at all put it this way everyone hates on the new call of duty title it's call of duty fans but nonetheless they make the best shooter they pretty much make the best shooter call of duty is pretty much unparalleled for the most part for the most part there are some titles that you know like battlefield is a very good title titanfall very good ip you know all these games battlefront flop but you know good ips nothing usually comes close to call of duty at least in sales and i don't see that ever cha not changing anytime soon that will change but not anytime soon so there's no reason for us to believe that cod 4 remaster wouldn't be excellent until we see the proof in the pudding I don't want to say let's remain overly optimistic, but let's not let's not say it's going to be exactly what COD 4 was, but let's also not say that it's going to be terrible and they're going to mess it up. Until the proof is in the pudding, let's just stay neutral and be like, yeah, I mean, the potential is there. You know what I mean? Could they potentially mess it up too? Of course, but we got to see more. And that's, that's what I mean here. So, I don't know. That was just some thoughts. That was my little rant, I guess, on the whole situation. A lot of people have been asking me in my Twitch chat. A lot of people tweet at me, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? They think that I'm really negative on COD 4 Remaster. I don't know why, but a lot of people think I don't like cod 4 remaster but i'm super excited for that so i don't know that's just my two cents you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments down below do you guys are you guys excited for a cod 4 remaster are you excited for infinite warfare are you excited for the new zombie mode let me know in the comments what you guys think and if you agree or disagree with any of the points that i made earlier in this video thank you guys hope you guys did enjoy and we'll see you next time peace